It's not an easy shot to make even without the weight of a nation watching with bated breath, without the series finals at stake, without a seven foot tall opponent in the way. What Kawhi Leonard did with that shot is awe inspiring, certainly inspired these eighth graders. It's really hard to make that shot. It's like you have to <laughs> aim for the, but right before the net because you have all the momentum while you're running. And the final bounce right at the end was just at the right angle. As a basketball fan, Damian Pope was freaking out with the rest of us watching the game. It was just, I mean, a fairy tale ending. You couldn't script it better. But as a theoretical physicist, could you calculate it? Well, theoretically you can, but in practice you can't. There's just so many factors that are impossible to know and control, such as what the temperature was in the arena at the time, how sweaty Kawhi's hands were, how the ball would slide off, the exact speed, exact trajectory of it. One of the interesting things as a scientist, it was actually getting lower in height each time. And what that told me is that the rim and the net were actually absorbing some energy. And that's a good thing. You could actually see them kind of shudder and move it a little bit. And so that means the ball has less energy, it has kind of less speed. So it helps just to keep that ball in the rim and to actually increase, maximize the chances of it going in. It's incredibly, incredibly rare, one in a billion shot. Adding to the pressure, the fact that 18 years ago, against the same team, Another superstar tried and failed to make as crucial a shot. No go, and the Sixers hold on. For these kids, Vince Carter is history. Kawhi is our shot. Learning from Kawhi shooting that ball, um, we can learn that um, like the backspin that he put in his shot, which is like really good, because like in order to get that bounce, those four bounces, you must have like really good backspin. Legends in the making. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.